right next to me, Richard. <laughs> what's, your, what's your restaurant called? Manchega. Manchega Tapas. Man Manchega. Manchega. Manchega, right. So Manchega. We're going to have to check. You'll love it when you come. You've got to check it out with, with the best. Manchega restaurant. It's ripping. So you're the bright lights are ripping. Enjoy. Enjoy. Right. 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 Lovely boy, this Chinese. You want to stick with him a bit longer? <laughs> Right, people. We're gonna <laughs> check you in uh, New York. I've just made this guy out of play just now, so. Uh. Richard and I have been gassing the whole journey. Uh, you wouldn't let me get a wink of sleep. You wouldn't let me get a wink of sleep. Do you believe me? No How way. well do you know him? How well do you know him? And you know someone, look at the size of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I never have to say that ever to anyone, but this guy's six foot six, so oh, I was big as six foot four. Six foot six. But, but I, I got the lucky seat. I'll be a better box than him as well, but. Take my word for that, mate. Right? Better talk, obviously. Right. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Now, I'm in New York. Uh, I've put a couple of vlogs already um, of the time so far, but I hadn't put up the first ride that we did. Now, the first ride was the most eventful ride I've actually ever been on. We had a puncher within literally minutes of the ride. We then had one accident. Adrian unfortunately came flying off his bike, um, ripped up his bib shorts, blood everywhere, got back on it, and we got on our way within about the next two hours, down went Howard. Now Howard's a big guy like myself, got back on and he survived the rest of the ride, but unfortunately really bad news was that he broken his shoulder. This is what happened on the first day of our ride. Well, latex tubes. Let's go and get this bus. So we had a slight issue can it happen just on that corner, but stuff happens like this when we're away. Uh, but hopefully everything will be okay. Come to New York yeah, to do a bit of time, mate. This one of is all about. Gradient, so if it's gradient, you know you're going to have a bad one. Alright, well, the Sabatella Grime to the petrol station. So I'll put this away now and uh, get my grind on. Hey, now, right, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Howard here to the side. Who? Who, yeah? Uh, so we're, yeah, we're top of Tapatala. This is the famous petrol station uh, cafe stop. As you can see, it's like around with motorbikers and cyclists. Uh, we just come up, um, yeah, couple of Tapatala, make a twisty, curvy road. Um, eight kilometers long, only about five, six percent all the way up. Nice and easy, great views. Yeah, great way to start the day. Adrian's had an accident. Yeah, I'm just taking a bit of time in this, my wounds. Not too bad, a little bit sore, but. He's a magic man. Magic! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. Come on. War wounds, let's have a look, Howard. Huh? Uh, I can't see in there, but... Another one. And, uh, oh, so, so, so that's a lump there as well. Where are we, where, Andy? Where are we? Uh, wh <laughs> we're, we're about two minutes further on than the last time you had me. <laughs> <laughs> That's staying in. It's just that we, that had, staying in. we had lunch for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and we've come about 10 bends and uh, we've had another crash. So 
Uh, we are a long way from home, and uh, it might be dark by the time we get home. Good job we got some lights. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See what this is? It's poor bike maintenance. I think so, you know. Shallow bomb out 50 meters out from the shoreline from the beach, and I'm standing. you ever come here yourselves so let's take a walk in and you can see for yourself what I'm talking about so this is sort of like the entertainment area with the bar over there through there you've got the restaurant where we have the buffet breakfast and the dinner so I was set off the fifth floor so here we are on the fifth floor so let's go in. So ignore the mess because I've got a couple of friends who have left their stuff with me as well because I've got a little checkout. Um, so yeah, it is a really nice room. Like I say, it's slightly dated, but ignore the mess because this is not what how the room comes when you when you when you arrive at the hotel. You've got a nice balcony through here. The views are stunning. Let's walk through here. Again, ignore my bags. Got a bike here and, and, and some suitcases. You got the mountains. It's absolutely a beautiful location. So plenty of storage. It's a typical size hotel room. Um, you got your safe here. You got enough drawer space, clothes hangers. Nothing worse than going to a hotel and you've only left with two clothes hangers. You got ample clothes hangers for one person. Some of these taps, this tap is a bit stiff. It's little things like that. Obviously the toilet's quite old, but it's a toilet. You know, it doesn't need to be a brand new state-of-the-art toilet. And then the bathtub as well. So so yeah, it is, it's, it's slightly dated, like I said, um, but it served its purpose. I was really pleased with it. I hope you really enjoyed that one. So guys, as always, please hit the subscribe button in the description box below. There's a lot more content like this coming your way. Next up will be Hamburg. Now, I'm not going to say what I'm going to be doing there, but I'll be cycling in Hamburg soon. So, uh, and in the meantime, I'll also be probably dropping some renovation vlogs as well. So, guys, please stay tuned in. Hit the subscribe button in the description box below. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Take care. Bye bye.